place is quiet, isn't it? It's very quiet. And it's a good environment for prayer. I'm sure I'm speaking the truth. Isn't it? That even if you are sick like Mama, you take your chair, you sit there. You say, you people leave me here. Let me pray. Let's see if your challenge uh, won't go away. Let's see that. Let's see if Jesus won't set you free. Let's see. I'm sure you're hearing me. Let's see if God won't set you free. I can tell you, you people, you've got enemies. That's why you're here today. And also I can say to you, those enemies are very good for you. Very good for you. You know what? Because if there's no enemy, we won't cry for God. And we will never search for God. One time I said to someone, if you see poverty that you have is good for you. He said, but why do you say that? I said, because if you are rich, you wouldn't be here. You know, sometimes God uses your situation to bring you close to Him. You know, the struggle you're going through, God used that. So that you can come close, come close. Otherwise, if all of us will have money, uh, Jesus, uh, his, his death will go to waste. You know why? Because we people, we value material things than anything else. If you give us material, we feel like we are fine. But there's something that you're forgetting. The soul you have belongs to God. You know, you just want to benefit your flesh. After you die, where are you going? You know, I often hear people say, oh, there's no God. People are just talking nonsense. They're telling us we're talking nonsense. There's no God. But I always have a question to such people. If there's no God, where does your soul come from? Who can create a soul? Because a flesh can be created, isn't it? It's from the ground. But where does your soul come from? And who can create a soul? And what can also create a soul of a man? Because even science can't reach there. Hmm? You are a pastor, you know what I'm saying. Even science can't reach there. You know, science can tell you uh, the beginning of humankind. They saw, no, we started as apes, we started as this and that. But those apes, they've got souls inside still. So those souls, where are they coming from? Hmm? <laughs> You see, it's where now, uh, if you're a professor, uh, I can make you to keep quiet. So now, we people, we need to fear God. At the end of the day, we must come back to the one who created us, which is God. I saw Mama, who was very sick. I also saw this one. This will result as a stroke. Yeah, but I can tell you, you people today, you'll be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't cry, Mama. Don't cry. You know, eh? Hmm? My sister. It's your sister. Hmm. Uh, this, to me, I already see a stroke. Uh, but uh, today we'll reverse this problem. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, me and Jesus will reverse it. Praise the Lord. And where is your husband? Mm. Because even you, you are not supposed to be married. You know, you people, you are fighting spirits of the family. A serious, strong, you know, ancestral spirit. Yes, it is. You hear me? We grow up. With... I'm telling you. Yes. You are fighting a serious, because I see something like a circle like this. Where people used to put something there, like alcohol. And there, there's, they used to do these rituals. Huh? Yes. Mm. And all of you, your names, they've been put in that section. Like a small thing where they put alcohol there. And I can tell you, 
all of you, you are still operating under that, that case. If you are married, it's as good as you are not married. You know, you are married because you are wearing a ring. But the trouble that the devil has put you through, you have tolerated a lot. You know, and it's God that gave you strength to, to be there. Until today, if not, I don't see you being there. So today, you people, you know when you're growing up, you're doing these things, I don't know which language you, you speak, or Pasavajim. No. Which language do you speak? Kosa. You speak Kosa. Or Pasavajim mean Kosa is what? We don't have a Kosa person here. Hmm? What do you call it in your language? We, we praise ancestors. You, you don't have it in your in your native language. Where is your son? He's okay. with me in Cape Town. No? Cape Town. What is he doing in Cape Town? He's working now. Tell him that he'll get a better job. And get a better job, and from there, God will give him a house. Oh my God. Uh, because this woman, she must not die until she sees the success of her children. Mm. She suffered mm. a lot this mm. lady. Mm. So, this lady suffered a lot with her children. So, you must not die until God bless your mm. children. Mm. It don't happen. Uh, me and my God will pray for you today. God will heal you. Because this is not only the stroke, there are things here also. It's a problem here. Something is going on. And uh, moving around your body. Yeah. Mm, this is the cause of the death. There's no sickness. This thing turning around, coming to your stomach here, coming to here, is the cause of your sickness. And to me, you are not sick. It's this moving thing that is making you to look like you are sick, but you are not. So and today, dizziness, I can't even see. Mm. Everything is moving when I'm sitting. Don't worry. Uh, today, this weekend, oh, God will yeah. set you free. Mm. You hear me? Thank God Jesus. will set you free. Let me tell you again, God will set you free. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Bible says, in the last days, every knee will bow to know that Jesus is Lord. Yeah. So now this, Muhammad Lord's Spirit, will deal with you. And the one who's doing this to you, I'm also, I'll pray against this person. Because our people, they are really suffering in the hands of other people. So I believe God uh, will set you free. My sister, what happened to your job? My job? Mm. I worked and then I left and then... Why did you leave? But now I'm, I'm working. So why did you leave your previous job? Because I was... I was losing a, a house, everything. So I wanted to secure the house so if I leave the job. You are depressed now, Steve. I'm sure I don't know you. I'll see you for the first time, isn't it? So now how can an ugly man like me just come to you and say, what happened to you? Because to me, you have tried to seek for a solution, which still now you are depressed. You have secured the house, but it's as good as now you want to give up. God to fight for you. You hear me? God will fight for you. Let's allow God to solve these issues. And it was to me, I was like, why is like even this one you are waking now? You are about to experience problems. It's because I want to go like the house is in people. I'm staying here. Why do you want to go? <coughs> Maybe to work there because I'm not staying in the house. I need to my church. 
So you want to go home and work at home. That's why I say even the one they are working now, it seems like uh, you won't be long there. You want me to pray for you to go work at home? You, know? you are here for these things, aren't you? you know, and other issues that I will tell you. So, but I want to tell you, uh, your heart desire, all our heart desires, they matter before God. So, but what if I tell you don't go home? Mm -hmm. I'll pray for you, I'll tell you what to do. You know, but I just saw the issue of your job, I saw you leaving. I was asking myself, why do you leave something to save something? And what if you still lose it, even after you know, the action you've taken? You know, but God will help you. I'm here to tell you, you won't lose anything. <coughs> you hear me? You will do nothing. You came with this boy. You came alone. Yes. How old are you? 22. 22. My brother, uh, you must not worry. You must not worry. Uh, because you people, it's like you lost someone not long. Is it, is it your father? I didn't get one, my mother, and then two months back, my father. Because it's like you lost someone not long, like your father. But you I want to pray for you to get a better job. You are trying everything. Uh, God will give you a job. Yeah. Do you hear me? Yes. But I want you to give your life to Christ. You are ready for that? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure, sure, sure? Yeah. Let me tell you this. It is difficult for God to bless us when <clears throat> we don't want Him fully with us. And there's so much blessing at the feet of Jesus. So much. You know why God can, cannot bless us? Can I tell you? Because we don't want him. And he knows us that after he bless you, he will never want anything to do with church again. So now, promise God and say, God, I want to stay with you. You know? And remember, if God bless you, you go back to the world, there's a possibility that you might die. Because what makes you not be blessed now? The same thing that is making you to fail to be blessed now will kill you there when you are blessed. I don't know if I make sense. Uh, do I make sense? Yes. Huh? It will kill you there. Because you see now you are struggling, struggling, you can't prosper, there's problems, there's this. So now after we pray for you, make sure you maintain a holy life. If not there, that demon will come and kill you there. You know, so let's take a decision of standing with God. You say to yourself, me, I took a decision when I was the only one going to church. <coughs> I used to see my cousin, even when it's raining, I said to them, I'm going to church. They would say, even when it's raining, I said, yes, I'm going to church. And look at me today. <laughs> you know, after 20 years, look at me. You know, some of us here, we are crying, God, put me on top of all these people. Put me on top of everyone. If God puts you there without the Holy Spirit, they are going to kill you there. On top. Because I'm saying this because of this man. You know, I, I, I don't want you to die for nothing. Because today is here, I'll pray for you. We are going to pray. Things will start to run. But if he leave God, the spirit of the family will kill him. Because they have taken a vow, no one must succeed in the family. When I look at you, one, two, one, two, it's like 
two months and a half now, you have buried your father, isn't it? Yeah. Two months and a half, you have buried your father. And look how much you have struggled until today. So now, take a decision. My brother, I also took a decision one day. You know, I said to myself, I want God. I don't want anything else, I want God. I can tell you, the way I'm blessed now, I don't even know what to do with my blessings. <laughs> you hear what I said? I don't even know what to do. And I gave myself to Jesus. Me, I don't know you. For the first time, I'm telling you, there's death here. Someone just died here. And how, what makes you to fail to prosper? If we pray for you, you prosper and you forget God. The same spirit that made you to fail now, they will kill you. Then. I'm sure it makes sense. Huh? Yeah. It makes sense, isn't it? So you take a decision and say, I don't want anything else. I don't want to mix God with anything. Let me choose Jesus. And let's see if you want prosper. Let's see. There's prosperity in God, but the problem is that how do you want to receive that prosperity? Do you want to receive it by only receiving and you don't want God? No. God said, my face first. Seek me first. And everything you are crying for, I'll give you. Easy. So today I'll pray for this man. Everything will change. You hear me? Everything will change. And I'm believing that you people, you need to stand with God. If you stand with God, God will help you. Mama, we'll pray for you. Uh, this. This blood will be normal. So you hear me? This this blood will be normal. But I also see there are things here in your blood here. We don't want this sickness to spread all over your body. Because I still see it in one place. But God will clean your blood today. You hear me? Yes. God will clean your blood. So this is now even affecting your kidneys. Yeah. No, so, mm, so me and Jesus today will heal you. Amen. Today I'm saying me and Jesus. <laughs> I've never said that before. Today I'm saying me and Jesus I will heal you. So what is happening to your business? Business. Uh, uh, I don't have a formal business right mm. now. I'm still planning. You don't have a formal business? Mm -hmm. You've got informal business? Yeah, I'm just saving a, a house that I'm renting, but it's, it's not for, something for permanent. Mm. But uh, I've got that mind of making a business. In that house? Not, not in that house. Mm. I just uh, I have another place, but I want to build a place for rental. Then the God will, will help you. You know, uh, Right now, you, you cry for a job that will give us progress. It's true. Because you, there's a position you are looking for. It's true. And that's one of the things why you are here. Uh, there's a position of a, a job uh, that uh, you want God to give you, but <coughs> you cry for something that later will give us problems. You know, uh, work, work, work. I don't know why black people will believe in a work rather than believe in a business, you know? Because to me, I want you to do a real estate business. A real estate? Mm. Yeah. Where you've got a property, you've got a space there. You can put apartments there. You, know, you divide that house and you rent it out. It's like I'm, I'm giving advice, it's good, isn't it? Yes. We need advice. So, but I'll tell you when I see you. Uh, let's not cry for a job when God can give us this. Cry, cry for a job. You remember how you used to work? 
uh, the job you used to do. Uh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it's tough. When you used to wear something, uh, God wants to bless you. Uh, no more hard, hard labor. I believe God will help you. So, but I'll tell you when I see you. Is your child this one? It's my child. We pray for them. They are good children. Amen. But I was worried about this one. Where's your mom? <coughs> well, you Will you stay with him? Currently, I'm staying alone. Smiling now. Because that's why I'm here. All along he was looking at me with this eye of me. <laughs> Not really. All along he was looking at me like this. You know young people, you have to... Or <laughs> oh, you think of your age? Not really. Yeah? No. I'm very old. <laughs> yeah. God will help you. Amen. But to me, I find strong spiritual attacks. Very strong. And they are disturbing you. You can't even stop. Amen. Yes. You will be free. Amen. Yes. Even these dreams that you are getting are very bad. Yes. You don't want to deliver you. Yes. So that's why you came here because of the spiritual attacks. Yes. God will set you free. Amen. People, when you come there, one minute, one minute. I know this one. This one I know him. <laughs> uh, the past at Cape Town. You have got a church now? Yes, from that time. Hmm. I do I know you. Uh, it's in Kulu leg. Ah, hey, no problem with you. It's age. No? <laughs> Mama? <laughs> Age and anger at the same time. When they collide, they cause a bomb. Uh, let's start. Man. I want you to sit there, but I can start with sick people. I want them to go and rest. I want Jesus to heal you people. And from there, I didn't speak with you. I also didn't speak with you. So I'll speak with, I'm looking at the time. Did I take time? What time is it? Quarter past three. To four will be done. Uh, because people, when they come here, they need to put that. You need to put your trust in Jesus. You know? Who am I, Gene? Do you think I can help you? Got Gene, I got So it's Jesus that will help you. Go and rest tomorrow. Yes, sir. They do pray for you. Jesus, my dear! <gasps> Jesus! <gasps> Jesus! <gasps> Jesus! <gasps> Jesus, my dear! <laughs> Jesus, my dear! Jesus, my dear! Oh. Jesus my name. In Jesus' name. Ah. Hey. Hey. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Oh, this is really mm -hmm. kidney spirit stop now. Yes, yes, you yes, yes. yes. Come out in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh yes. Thank you, Lord, for healing my Oh heart. yes. Jesus mighty. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Lord. For healing this blood. Jesus. Come on. Come on. I want you to walk now. Come. Believe God. Thank you, Jesus. Give me more strength. Give me more strength. This pain. In Jesus' name. Jesus. 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 She's free. Amen. You're free, Mama. Amen. You're free. Amen. You're free. Amen. You're free. Do like this. You're free. You're free. Jesus has healed you. Oh. No one will eat your man. Yes. I don't want. Hey, hey. Well, I don't Anyone want to eat my man. <laughs> You're free. Let's take Mama to a room. Thank you, Lord, for reversing this disease. Thank you for healing your fitness. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. 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 Jesus. Put your hands down. Lift your leg. One leg up. Jesus name. Lift your leg like this. Today you are strong. In the name of Jesus. You can go out and walk outside. I want to see how far you can go without tightness. No one must hold you again. Come and see how your mom. Are you strong? Mm. Eh? I'm coming strong. You are becoming strong. Mm. So you are healed. Mm. Jesus, take your friend. 